Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D Shop. In this video, let's clear a clog on the Monoprice Select Mini efficiently, safely for this printer. For this video, I will show you another technique to clean the nozzle. You could also do as I did on the Creality CR10S video, but the Monoprice Mini is more fragile and harder to clear the nozzle. You could also just change the nozzle if you don't want the trouble of trying to fix a jam. They are not that expensive, but let's see my technique. Okay, first turn on the printer, then move up the arm and preheat at 200 for PLA. Then push some filament through so that you can pull out the filament. Turn off the printer, wait for it to cool down, then cut the little tie wrap on the head so that you can undo this wrapping. And remove the little clips, remove the fan, put it away, then remove the shroud, remove the two screws and Look at where my left hand is. It's holding the arm, so not to put any pressure on it. Then you have the hot end on end. Turn on the printer and preheat again at 200. Then you will be able, when it nears 200, you will be able to turn the nozzle a couple of turns, then remove the heatsink. Then what I do is I use a filament and I use it on the heat block. Since it's still hot, you're gonna be able to push it through. Then I push it just a bit more like this, not too much. Then you turn off the preheat and hold the filament in place until you reach around 90 degrees. Then I take a plier and remove the filament at around 90 degrees to clear up the jam. You may need to do this more than one time, but this time it's good. You can see if you look inside, you can see through. So there is nothing there. Then preheat again to 200 because you need heat to remount the heat sink because there is some plastic there and it won't turn without heat. So you screw in until the end, then back off a bit because I want the nozzle to be as close as possible to the heat block, but without touching it. So I'm moving the nozzle and then moving back the heat sink until I'm about just touching the heat block. Then I screw in back the heat sink and then final tightening of the nozzle. Not too much, but enough. You get to do this when it's heated. And since my nozzle is not that clean, I use a copper wire brush to clean the nozzle and heat block. Then replace everything. Watch out because it's hot right now. And don't push too hard on that arm. You see here, I'm holding the arm to screw in not too tight. Those are, those are fragile, so just finger tight, it's enough. And then put back the fan shroud with the little clip on side at a time. Make sure everything is tight. Put back the little zip tie and then try to extrude. I like to push the head at the end of the arm. It makes it easier to push in the filament because there is less of a band and it extrudes fine. And that's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please comment and give me suggestions on subjects or problems you want me to talk about. Subscribe to my channel. Push the little bell for notifications of my new videos. And see you in the next video. Ciao, bye!